Hello and welcome back to t uh, Kingdom Hearts Reshared of Memories me, with me Matthew Caddy saying yeah buggy. Anyway, uh, today, well, what's going on down here? Um, Jafar? Yeah, we're, we're gonna see. Oh no, it's Jasmine who's surrounded by Heartless. Okay, did Jafar summon them though? I wouldn't be surprised, so yeah. Um, really? You're going to use your last wish for that? That's kind of a waste. Seriously. Actually, no, that's his second wish, so... Yeah. So much for, um... That. And I suppose we won't get the version of Prince Ali that we wanted. Then again, how would that work with the Homer singing? Uh, but never mind. Apparently a bunch more Heartless have come. Really? We're still going with this? I thought you wanted to free Genie. Or something like that. I'm actually with Sora here, seriously. You're actually speaking some sense. Besides, you've got the Keyblade Master on your side there, Aladdin. Uh, so, that being said, yeah, let's defeat some Heartless. Nothing too hard, really. In fact, probably better if you have. But Aladdin give you some more Moogle points, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. Though, Jafar might be a problem. Once we get to him, that is. And yes, we will fight him in this episode, don't worry. Nice little level up there. Uh, uh, do I want a goofy smash? Probably want to keep him in reserve for now. Seriously, because even though Goofy, um, Goofy's card, should I say, is a zero, um, um, I don't really want to use Goofy Smash on these smaller Heartless. So yeah, go for it, Aladdin. Give me some more Moogle points. Thank you. And some more yellow operas there. Again. Why not? Let's double the amount of Google points. I already have over... I have exactly 278. I might have more now. Thanks to Aladdin. So, yeah. But that being said... Um, yeah. The Hannah's just keep coming. Seriously. We have two fat bandits on the field now. Strangely enough, they do, they do breathe fire. But they don't have the constant stream of fire that we see in... Like later Kingdom Hearts games, Kingdom Hearts 2 most especially. But yeah, they just spit fire here. Uh, but never mind, sliding dash. Decent in uh, close quarters, I'll give it that. Not my favorite move, I prefer Strike Raid, seriously. Um, and I've got this Sonic Blade, but Sonic Blade does have its problems, dare I say, because it relies on. Certainly in reshade of memories, um, the usage of reaction commands, and I am absolutely terrible with those. Absolutely terrible. Um, you'll see that when I get to Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, if I ever decide to open Well, I probably will, because it's my favorite game in the series, seriously. Despite the problems it does have. Cough, cough. Um, Atlantica, cough, cough. No, seriously, I didn't even include that in the game. Seriously, it's just a... Just a... Well, w w I may well show it off some of it at least, but... Yeah. But... Um, CP boost. Yeah, I'll go with that. Especially if I want to defeat Jafar later. And yeah, let's not beat around the bus. Jafar's gonna come in now. Seriously. Yeah, because we beat him with the Keyblade, but where the hell is Jasmine? You ever look on the ground there, guys? Um, uh, smoke bomb? It's not Sephiroth, I don't think, so... Someone pinched the lamp. Yeah, I'm gonna say it was Jafar. Jafar, yeah. And maybe he is in Iago's claws as well. Well, that would have been a fair bit there, Jafar. But, uh, no. I think uh, you'll have to... Um, deal with the Keyblade Master. And yes, that does mean, of course, um... What more does he want? Maybe to rule Agrabah? That was the case in, uh, both Aladdin films, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yes, him. That is true. Uh, 
And unfortunately, um, Genie has to obey him, of course, because he holds a lamp. Well, at least we didn't have him turn into the Eraser Jin. Just be thankful of that. Otherwise, Aladdin's existence wouldn't be even there. And let's not ask anything about uh, Jasmine looking like Shara either. Yeah. That as well. Um, well, I guess so. You're not talking about death, I know that, so... Um, yeah, I'm gonna shut up now about that. Seriously. Jafar's got the lamp, yes, but... We know how we beat him in Kingdom Hearts 1, and it's fairly similar to that. I'm gonna say that now. Okay. Whisper, 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 I guess. Uh, so yeah, and the key to truth. Anyway, that being said, uh, more um, defeating Heartless, seriously. Yeah, you know the drill here. The who? Um, let's go straight into the boss fight, seriously. Me being down Heartless is quite fun, but it gets rather old in the chain of memories, so yeah. I don't think he has, he's going to do a counter attack. Okay, what's he gonna do? Jump in the air and... Um... Okay, I don't think Aladdin's plan is working here. Seriously, if you fell for it? What, by getting his ass kicked? Um... Oh, okay, that makes sense. Not a very strategic plan, but I guess it works. Even though, um, Genie's somewhat impressed. Let me guess, all powerful Genie? Um, how? Yep, all powerful Genie. We knew this was coming. From <laughs> the look on Paul. Poor Genie's face. Like, I don't want to do this. I just wanted to be free. Anyway, that being said, um, let's actually, um, indeed, do the exact same thing we did in Kingdom Hearts 1. It is a little harder with, um, um, in this fight because we do have the card battle system. But yeah. You, we do the exact same thing, because you can see there, Iago is carrying the lamp, and indeed, that's all we need to do to hit Jafar. The difference is he does have this annoying laser, which can be stopped with a zero on various other moves, but... Yeah, the main attack is to get um, Iago while he's carrying Jafar's lamp. Just the same. Also, the uh, platforms change position as well. I don't think that was a thing in Kingdom Hearts 1. Um, another thing of note, you do uh, want to make good use of the gimmick cards if you get them. Because that will uh, set up the platforms to be, well, straight. So yeah, I've not got any gimmick cards just yet. And sometimes what does annoy me about this fight is that... Um, 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 is the fact that uh, Jafar just um, uh, you can actually target Jafar that's what I was gonna say yeah you can actually accidentally target Jafar when you can't do any damage to him seriously and while you're focusing on Iago he can still use the laser seriously yeah it's like he's freaking um, Icarus or something yeah I didn't say so I almost said Superman there but yes Icarus from Eternals you know him like that film very much so yeah let's get some more thing there and why not attack his ass let's see what can we get anything else out of him new no, then um, screw it we do have a zero but I don't really want to use it yet with Aladdin even though I could but um, yeah and now he's gonna haul a giant meteor at us 
Well, I think I was um, on the... Uh, I don't say on the level, but certainly on the same level as Jafar. Otherwise, I think I would have uh, got hit by said meteor. Seriously. And then, let's just use a potion here. And I can't do a damn thing against the thing. Wouldn't mind if I had a gimmick card, but never mind. Go for broke there, uh, Sora. Seriously, you can jump up and grab it. It's hack. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Literally. Okay, kick his ass. You get the idea. Okay, and so I have two zeros. Yeah, I might as well sandstorm. No, we're not listening to Darude here. Um, so let's indeed. Um, oh dear, what's he doing now? He's using his magic. To just move the platforms and this is the most annoying part here when all the platforms are below where um, Iago is you can't move at all maneuverability against his laser is good but because of how Sora can move and everything but no I'm backed into a corner here why not just use a couple of attacks and yeah because that's not gonna help otherwise seriously okay and Sometimes Sora just uh, just attacks him. You try and do a slide with him. Yeah, gimmick card. Before I go on, thank goodness I got a gimmick card there. Um, yeah, we'll use the high potion. Hopefully I don't die to a uh, thing. And yeah, I've okay, got a Donald. I don't know, like with the thingy, um, I got lucky by jumping there. These are seriously. Get my ass kicked. And I did die there. Oh well, um, yeah, that's the fight. I did manage to lean to Iago on the last part at least. So yeah, nothing too bad. As I say, hitting Iago isn't bad, it isn't, it's very easy to do. Uh, but getting to him, that's the hard part because the, the platforms are moving. And, you get, and yes, it was the same case back in the GBA version as well. Seriously. But, um, we've defeated Jafar, so now I guess we can, um, yeah, but where is Jasmine? Yeah, you know what that means, uh, Genie is now free, um, what, we're we still gonna try and make a prince out of him? Okay, why are you using a, like, British thing? Seriously? Um, no, I've seen Disney's Aladdin. And, um, the genie is now free! Uh, does that mean we get to summon him now, like in Kingdom Hearts 1? Um, well... He realized that a lot easier than in, in the film. Okay, um, you may get recast though, just saying there Aladdin, and I didn't mean in the, in, in the live action version. So I don't know about, um, hmm, no, let's not go there, let's not go there for now. Yep, we get Genie as a summon. Of course we do. That's how it was originally in Agrabah. Um, yeah, it was a summon before, so why not again? Weird. <laughs> That's not how you act in Kingdom Hearts 2! Seriously! You've even tried putting a... Uh, a casino. Seriously. Um, which is weird. And a motorway. Seriously, but, um, indeed that was Agrabah. So on the next episode, well, 
uh, we will give you more story and actually visit Halloween Town. So until then, I will see you later. Goodbye! <laughs>